Hi! In this video, I want to show you how to make this little purse. Um, what you're going to need is a piece of cardstock that measures two and a, six, six by six, and you're going to score it at two, like we started with this one, at two and four, turn it at two and four, then you're going to score from the center of from the corner of the center square to the outside corner on all four corners. And the last score that you have to do in this one is two of the center sides. You are going to uh, find your center, which in this case would be one inch, and then you're going to go down a half an inch, and then you're going to score from the end of your half an inch to the corner and the same on the other side, and then you're going to do the same on the opposite side of the box. So if you do it in this one, then you have to do it in this one, and in this case, this one in this one. Okay, so then you're just going to fold your scores. almost like we did in uh, box number two and box number three, with the exception that in this one, you add another score. Okay. Then for the center one, what you're going to do is you're going to push down on that center score and then kind of form your triangle. And it looks almost like a um, the top of your orange juice box or the milk carton. So push down on the quarter and the half an inch score and then kind of form your triangle. Hope you can see it. Okay. Then you're going to add your um, designer paper, and this one is one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. And I'm going to add it to the top and bottom that don't have any score lines. And then I'm going to flip it, and I'm going to do the same. But right now, I'm only going to add one of them because I need to add the flap of the purse and then the designer paper. And for that, you're going to need a piece of white cardstock that measures two and a quarter, sorry, two and one eighth by two and one eighth. And you're going to score that at one and a quarter. And then you're going to turn it and score it at half an inch. So again, you're going to score it at one and a quarter, turn it, and score at a half an inch. Then for this one, I went ahead and rounded the corners. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to snip this side. Okay, then I have a piece of designer paper that meshes two by one and one eighth, and I also rounded the corners of that, and I'm just going to add it to the front of my flap. And then I have, you're going to make two holes. You're going to go in, and you're going to make two holes on here. This um, is about a quarter, quarter inch, I think. Yeah. And uh, you can just go ahead and do the the holes and uh, kind of eyeball it, eyeball it. But I prefer to create a template and make sure they they're centered. But it's entirely up to you. So I'm just going to take my pencil and I'm going to mark my circles, and then I'm going to punch. And this is the one in one one eight circle punch. Handheld circle punch. 
Then I have a five and a half inches of ribbon, and I'm going to feed it through the holes from the top to the inside. Maybe. Okay. Mm. Now, if your ribbon frays a little bit, you can just go ahead and snip it because you actually need five inches. Um, but I cut five and a quarter or five and a half to just give some room to trim the, the ends if, if um, needed. And then I'm going to take a glue dot and I'm going to put it on the top of the ribbon because this is going to go down in just glue out this a little pass okay. okay so then I'm going to take it and match it up with the side of the flap right there and I'm going to take another glue dot and I'm going to do the same on the other side Okay, and there you go. Now, I'm going to take my box, and on the flap here that we didn't put any designer paper, I'm going to use some score tape. You can use um, sticky strip if that's what you have. And I'm going to peel the backing off of that and add my flap. I'm going to center it and then also make sure that you don't go past the score line because you need this to fold. So right up to the score line but don't let it go over. Okay. Then I'm going to take a Velcro dot and I am super excited about this. I found at Walmart this Velcro dots. They're clear, but not only are they clear, well actually this part is clear, this one not so much, but they are so, so thin. They are super, super thin. Um, they're probably half the size of the regular ones, which I think is absolutely awesome. So I cut one in half and I put the half right here Then I'm going to put the matching one on top of it then I'm going to close my box or my purse then open it back up and make sure this is really stuck to your um, purse. Another thing about the this clear um, Velcro dot is they're not as strong as the regular ones. I don't know if you can see. See how thin this is? Normally, if you have a regular Velcro dot, they're way, way thicker. I don't know if you can tell the difference or not, but it's, it's about half of it, but again, because they're so thin, they're not as strong. I mean, they hold really good for this kind of project, but I don't know if, if you had experienced that, but sometimes they're so strong that when you try to open it, they rip your paper or your, or your box. So these ones are absolutely great. Okay, now we're going to add our last piece of designer paper to the back basically to cover that back and then I have my sentiment here and I stamp the um, hugs and kisses and the white car uh, the red cardstock is one and seven eighths the gray is one and three quarters and the white is one and five eighths so I'm going to add that to This tape is giving me problems. To the center, 
And then the last thing is I already made a little, um, what would you call it?